pasture. Woo! Just came in from outside, and boy, is it sunny out there. Now that we're in the lab, let's talk about weather. What is weather, and what are the different types of weather? Weather is basically what's going on outside right now. What is the sky doing? Is it sunny with no clouds? Sunny. Is it cloudy? Cloudy. Maybe it's rainy? That's a lot of rain. Or it could even be snowy. There's lots of other different types of weather too. There can be windy, we can talk about it being hot and cold, but these are some, these are some of the four that we're gonna focus on today. Let's step out of the lab for a minute and tell me, what is the sky doing right now? I would say it's partly cloudy. What we have here is a simple weather chart. You can see we have different types of weather across the bottom. Here we have sunny days, rainy days, cloudy days, and snowy days. And then over here we have numbers going up the side. That tells us how many days it was either sunny, rainy, cloudy, or snowy. What we'll do over the next couple of days is look outside and decide which one we want to mark it as, and then color in one box to represent each day. And after a month or so, we'll have a full chart to show us how many days it's been sunny, rainy, cloudy, or snowy. Let's revisit the weather chart. You can see overall the most days were sunny with one, two, three, four, five sunny days. And the least amount of days is both rainy and snowy with one, two days each and then three days of clouds. How many days overall did we record on our chart? If you count up all the days, you have to include all the boxes. So we have one, two, three, four, five sunny days, plus six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 days. So we had 12 days that had all different types of weather. So this weather chart, tells us a lot of different information about the different kinds of weather that we've had in our area. This is a thermometer. Thermometer. A thermometer is a tool that scientists use to measure the temperature to see how hot or cold something is. You might have noticed when you walk outside, you can feel it. You can usually feel it on your skin. And you might say, wow, it's really cold. Or you might go out and go, wow, it's really hot. Now, when you're a scientist, you wanna be more specific. You don't wanna just say, something is hot or something is cold, you wanna say how hot or cold it is. So you can use a thermometer like this one. When we use a thermometer, we in America measure in degrees Fahrenheit, which we use an F for. So you might have heard that it's gonna be 80 degrees outside, which means it's pretty warm. Or you might have heard that it's gonna be 20 degrees outside, which is pretty cold. So when we, in the room that you're in right now, the temperature, if you're aware, you know, it's not too hot, not too cold. It's probably around 70 degrees. We call this room temperature and it feels comfortable. You might have a t-shirt on, maybe shorts, and you're pretty comfortable where you are. On a hot summer day, depending on where you live, maybe let's say you're down in Texas or Mexico, a hot summer day might get all the way up to 100, maybe, a, ooh, maybe 110 degrees. That's really, really hot. Now on a cold winter day in places farther up north, like Canada or Alaska, it might get all the way down to 32 degrees, which is when we start to see snow and freezing rain and water turns to ice, or even all the way down to zero degrees, which is really, really cold. We've learned a lot of new vocabulary in today's lesson, so let's review that before we go. Weather. Weather is what the air and sky are doing right now. And you can take a look out the window and tell what is the weather doing right now. The next is temperature. How hot or cold something is. Open your window, stick your arm out, and you can tell if it's hot or cold out. 
and then a thermometer. A thermometer is a device used to tell to measure exactly how hot or cold something is, usually in degrees, either Celsius or Fahrenheit. There are all kinds of different types of weather out there, tornadoes and hurricanes and storms of all sorts. But some of the more common types, types of weather are snow, clouds, rain, and my all-time favorite, sunny. Be the first. Grab a special discount for the new Learn Like Nostra educational app. Visit learnlikenostra.com or scan the QR code for more information.